On August 30th, 2019, we lost a very well-rounded physical culture icon in Franco Colombo. Franco was born on the island of Sardinia on August 7th, 1941. He was the son of a shepherd and he worked as a shepherd in his youth and had a Catholic upbringing. His story really has parallels with the biblical story of David. Franco only reaching the height of 5'5 was often known as the giant killer because he would routinely beat larger bodybuilders. However, instead of eventually becoming king as David would in the Bible, Franco would rise from being a shepherd to being Mr. Olympia in the lightweight and overall categories. I wanted to tie Franco in with my previous video, Can a Bodybuilder Fight?, which I will include a link for in the description. Franco definitely proves the fact bodybuilders can fight if they are trained to do so. I think this is also more true of bodybuilders who were around from the bronze era through the golden era. They were definitely more well-rounded and often crossed over into boxing and wrestling and strongman competitions. In fact, Franco competed in the first world strongman competition and despite an injury, still ended up placing fifth. Franco was probably the strongest pound-for-pound -pound bodybuilder ever. It should also be noted that Franco trained Sylvester Stallone in bodybuilding for Rambo II. And you could see the great results that came of that when you compare Stallone's physique to the first Rambo film. So Franco really helped Sly out tremendously and probably gave him a ton of extra knowledge about training that extended throughout his career. Uh, Franco was an incredible role model for men interested in physical culture, and he is someone we should inspire those who live the muscular Catholic lifestyle to look up to. Before Franco got into bodybuilding, he was a lightweight boxing champion in Italy. He won over 30 fights, but decided to concentrate on weightlifting and bodybuilding due to racking up injuries and saying the routine blows to the head were something he was wanting to get away from. Now it is apparent Franco didn't drop his boxing training entirely and seems to have incorporate, incorporated them as cardio into his workouts. There is a scene in Pumping Iron of him hitting the bag and I have also found evidence that he dabbled in martial arts. There is also a story about a group of guys that said something really nasty to Franco's wife and Franco ended up punching the leader of the group and it sent the rest of the group running scared. I think a lot of these naysayers dismissing bodybuilders or guys with muscular physiques are only considering modern day mass monsters, which admittingly when you get to a certain size you are going to have mobility issues when throwing strikes. But I guess it needs to be made clear the term bodybuilder can apply to anyone who trains in that manner for muscle size and definition rather than a powerlifting or Olympic style method of training. I also got a comment about bodybuilders getting gassed quickly in a fight. And yes, that can be an issue because they are training because they aren't training for rounds like an MMA fighter. But it also must be considered that as I said in my first video on the topic, most street altercations are between two people who are likely to be amateurs in fighting, and most street fights end rather quickly. I think Franco is a great role model for modern day men who take up bodybuilding as a hobby and a discipline. Also, don't be afraid to incorporate other types of training or martial arts, as I really like the idea of guys being well-rounded and being able to do other things like boxing, wrestling, strongman competitions. Franco had an incredible life in his 78 years. He was a boxer, a bodybuilder, a strongman, an author, and starred in action films. Franco really encompassed the physical culture lifestyle and promoted masculinity. Building off of this video, I will eventually cover the topic on the best martial arts and self-defense for weightlifters or bodybuilders. In other words, for someone whose main focus or goal is in bodybuilding or weightlifting, but they want to be prepared in case you, they get into a fight. I have been looking into quick, effective, dirty fighting and World War II 
hand-to-hand -hand techniques that don't take as much time to learn but would be a very effective um, solution to a street fight and would be it would fit in with a bodybuilder schedule that is all for this video and if you liked it please subscribe so you can be notified of the next upcoming videos also let me know if there are any particular topics you would like to see me cover in the future thank you for watching